everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and it's time to crack into a good book. Today's video is going over the August releases uh, that I'm excited about or, you know, kind of interested in. Um, so I'm going to just go by release date and in no particular order. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. The first book I want to talk about is The Dragon Republic, which is the second book in the Poppy War series. I don't know if there's a, an actual name for the series, but it's by R.F. Kuang. Um, like I said, it's a sequel to The Poppy War, which has been floating around YouTube for a while, so it's, I'm not going to go into a lot of the, the details on the plot there, but I think it's going to be really good. Um, a lot of the reviews that I've seen recently have been very positive, like all giving it 5 out of 5 stars, so I'm just super excited for that. I think it's, it's going to be great. The next book that comes out August 6th is called Cry Pilot by Joel Dane. Um, so I think this is like a a futuristic sci-fi book where there's some sort of rogue bioweapon. Um, I think the main character is some sort of a criminal who like accepts some sort of deal to in order to get out of jail or something. I'm not exactly sure. Um, one of the book bloggers slash reviewers that I follow on Goodreads and on her blog um, gave it two out of five stars. So I'm, you know, I'm interested to see her thoughts. Our book tastes do align pretty well, so that makes me a little nervous. Um, you know, I'm. I'm once she actually posts her review instead of just like the, the rating on Goodreads. I'll take a look at that, but um, you know, hopefully it's good. We'll see. Another book coming out August 6th is called House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. Um, I think this may be some sort of retelling or loosely based on the 12 Dancing Princesses, um, but I've heard it's pretty good. It's like really dark and kind of gets into horror, so I'm excited for that. I think that's going to be like a very good uh, fall read. Another book that I'm kind of interested in is called The Darwin Strain by, by Bill Schutt and J.R. Finch. Um, so I know nothing about this series. I think it is the third book. Um, but basically, I think the premise is it's like World War II era. There's the main character is like a cryptozoologist. Um, but basically, you know, in the synopsis, I saw something about investigating Kraken. So of course, I'm going to be interested in that. Um, you know, I think I'll probably look at the reviews and see how you know it's it's rated because like I know nothing about this series I don't know if I can just jump right in now we're jumping to some of the August 20th releases so the first book I'm going to talk about for this chunk of, of dates um, is Turning Darkness into Light by Marie Brennan uh, I talked about this in one of my earlier videos maybe the mid-year book for yeah tag um, but basically it's like a spin-off series of the Lady Trent um, book series where we follow the granddaughter of Lady Trent, um, and you know I'm sure we're gonna further investigate dragons. I really like this world, so I'm really excited to see what this new spinoff series is like, and hopefully they continue on with the illustrations in the book, because I, th I think those are really fun. <laughs> Next book I'm going to talk about is also an August 20th release, and it's called The Whisper Man by Alex North. Um, I don't know too much about this. Uh, it's like a thriller murder mystery thing, I think. Um, but basically, there's a serial killer, the Whisper Man, um, who lures victims out of their houses by whispering under their windows, I think. Um, so I think the premise is that the Whisper Man was caught, but then like 20 years later or something, that starts up again. And so they have to investigate what's going on and maybe talk to the original Whisper Man. Um, but it sounds kind of creepy and ominous, so I think that could be also a good fall read. The next book I'm going to talk about is an August 20th release, and it's called Old Bones by Douglas Preston and Leakin Child. Um, so I think this is a spinoff of their um, their Prendergast series. Uh, this is following Nora Kelly, who is she's a secondary character in a lot of a lot of their books. Um, so I think she is investigating the Donner Party. Um, well, that's really all I know about it, but I tend to enjoy their books. I mean, they're not like the most literary pieces of work ever, but they're fun like adventure novel books and I really do enjoy those, so I'll probably pick it up is my. The last August 20th release I'm going to talk about is called Echoes by, edited by De Ellen Datlow. Um, so I think this is just a collection of ghost stories, um, but Seanan McGuire is one of the authors in this collection, um, so you know I love her work, so hopefully Hopefully this will be a good collection. Lynn Datlow is a pretty good editor. I've read several of her collections before. Um, I think most recently, I don't, I don't know if I have it out here, um, but most recently I've read Haunted Nights by her, which is like a, a creepy like Halloween-y type feel. So I think this is, oh, again, also a good book to pick up in the fall. But um, 
you know, maybe I'll, I'll look at the reviews, uh, pick it up, maybe save it for like an October read when I'm in the mood for some sort of like creepy, kind of ghostly stories. So now we're getting into some of the August 27th releases, and the first book I'm going to talk about for this chunk um, of, of date is uh, Sapphire Flames by Alona Andrews, and I'm pretty sure I've also talked about this before, but it's the fourth book, I think, in the Hidden Legacy series um, by Alona Andrews. Uh, so this is following the sister of the main character from the first trilogy, or the original trilogy. Um, but basically, you know, people have powers, some people have like stronger powers, and they're like the primes of their houses. Um, but it's a really fun, fun series. It's like an urban fantasy, uh, urban fantasy romance. So, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed all of these books so far. Um, and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. The next book I'm going to talk about is called The Lost Daughter by Gil Paul. Um, so I don't know much about this. I think I maybe saw it in the Goodreads giveaway and was like, yeah, that sounds kind of interesting. But I think it's um, kind of going over the life of Grand Duchess Maria Romanoff. Um, that's basically the extent of my knowledge of this book. I'll probably read the reviews again, um, see if it's it's good, maybe pick it up from the library if I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not sure I'm going to love that. Uh, the next book I'm going to talk about is called Last Ones Left Alive by... Sarah Davis Goff. Um, I think this is like a post-apocalyptic story where the main character is on an island, um, but she like wants to escape. There's maybe some sort of like flesh-eating monster or virus, I'm not exactly sure, um, but this is kind of like a combination of tropes that I really like, so I'm hoping it's going to be good. Um, again, I'm gonna read the reviews, see if it's if they're mostly positive, and then I'll probably just buy it. So the last book I'm gonna talk about is the last of the August 27th releases, um, but this is Galaxy's Edge Black Spire by Delilah S. Dawson. So this is a Star Wars tie-in novel, and it, I think, coincides with the opening of the Star Wars area at uh, Disney World. So, you know, I don't really know much about this, but I do enjoy myself some Star Wars novels. Um, we'll see. I, I think I've read some books by Delilah S. Dawson before, and I can't remember if I loved them or not. I think this is tying into the Galaxy's Edge region in Disney World that's opening up, and so I think there's like some sort of smuggling. I have no idea what the main character, who the main character is, um, but I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I'm excited to see who these characters are and if I'm interested in it. Um, I think it's it's kind of a fun idea to tie it in with the release at Disney World, uh, which I will hopefully go to at some point soon. So I think those are the main books that I want to talk about for August 2019 releases. Um, Obviously, I may have missed a few, or release dates may change here and there, um, but yeah, let's give you guys an idea of what I'm looking forward to. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of some of these books, and if you're looking forward to them too, um, or if you're looking forward to other books that I maybe didn't talk about today. Uh, but I think that'll do it for this video. I will see you guys in my next one.